Hello, I'm Alina Vincent, and I'm so excited to share one of my good friends, amazing people, Steve Olsha, with you. And the reason I'm bringing him here today, and let me oh, pause this real quick. Okay, perfect. Nope, wasn't perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's because, as you know, I have my awesome event coming up, High Profit Programs, and Steve is going to be one of my speakers. And we want to talk in general about online programs, what online programs can do for you. And I can explain how amazing it is that Steve is going to share his wisdom and expertise with you. So without further ado, Steve, would you like to introduce yourself? All I'm gonna say is I've heard you speak, I've been to your events, I've been following you for years, and I just can't get enough of everything you have to share. <laughs> you uh, have created this amazing new media summit. You've been hosting Reinvention uh, Radio for quite a few years now. So yeah. would you share a little bit of who you are and how you came to be where you are right now? Yeah, you know, I um, I mean, first, I appreciate the invite. So thank you for that. And uh, and I'm super excited to uh, speak at your event. And uh, it's it's honestly one of the best events that I've been to. So I um, I speak at a lot of events and I, and I really enjoy yours for sure. I mean, like what you do with your people is uh, is so needed. So uh, I'm excited to be a part of that and uh, appreciate the invite to, to be there. But yeah, you know, I mean, uh, geez, I've, I've been online a long time. I mean, I've been online since 1993 when we launched on CompuServe's electronic mall. So uh, this is uh, my 25th year online. Kind of crazy, really. Wow. Crazy. That's before online even existed. Uh, almost. Almost, I right? Know, right? Yeah. No, we uh, we built one of the first fully functional e-commerce sites from scratch in um, in 95. And that site actually ended up becoming liquor.com. And, uh, and I've been involved with that since 1998. So uh, long time online. And since 2009, I've been uh, involved in the podcasting world and the, you know, that whole world of, of new media, kind of the difference between <clears throat> traditional push media where everything's just kind of pushed at you and pull media where people basically consume what they want when they want it uh, and on their preferred device. And, um, and again, having done this now for as long as I've been doing it uh, in terms of the online space, I just, I'm, I'm I'm moving more and more and more and more of my efforts and focus towards new media because it, you, you, there's just no comparison. I mean, the, the ROI on your new media efforts um, is exponentially greater uh, than anything that I've ever seen in my 25 plus years of wow. being online and um, specifically podcasting, you know, and, and I'm just, uh, I'm a huge fan of the medium and uh, I did my first reinvention radio podcast in uh, 2009 and uh, kind of off and on there for a while. Um, but for the last few years, uh, it's been on and on a, I don't want to call it a full time basis because it's definitely not a full time thing, but certainly we release um, a lot of episodes. We release six episodes a week, actually. Um, but we uh, but we've got it down to a science now where we really can uh, knock it out pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, and we're actually releasing uh, a new show. Uh, as well. Really? So we're, yeah, so we're going even further in uh, on the medium. So we're going to be releasing a new show uh, in March, actually not terribly long after uh, your event. Oh, okay. So yeah, but I'm, I'm just a big fan of the medium. And I know that, uh, you know, we use email marketing. And I know a lot of you guys watching use email marketing. Um, and just when you look at email as a, as a marketing tool, um, it's it's good, right? I mean, it still works. Uh, but I remember the days where open rates were like 60, 70, 80%. And now if you get to like a 10%, 12%, 15% open rate, That's uh, you're, a good rate. <laughs> you're doing pretty good. Um, whereas with, with podcasting, it just as an example, when somebody downloads an episode, I mean, they're, they're raising their hand and they're saying, give that to me. Yes, I want it. So it's kind of the equivalent of like a 100% email open rate and like a 100% click through rate. I mean, you just can't, you just can't beat it. Mm -hmm. um, but specifically at your event, you know, I'm going to be talking a lot about uh, appearing as a guest on shows, right? Because yes. um, like my show, you don't need to have your own podcast. You don't, you, you know, yeah. You, yeah, you don't need your own podcast to really take advantage of everything that's going on there in the space. And 
what and to just I, kind of backtrack a little bit yeah. for people who may be new to the term uh, new media. Yeah. Besides podcasts, what else kind of falls under this category? <clears throat> so I would put um, five things under the new media category. I, I would say uh, you've got audio, uh, which can be both uh, recorded audio like podcasts or live audio. Uh, and that would be something like a blog talk radio or WS radio or a Zcast or something like that. Uh, video. Uh, this would be an example, of course, of, uh, of live video, mm -hmm. right? And then you've got recorded video as well, like a YouTube. So what we're doing right now is new media. <laughs> this is totally new media. Exactly. So new. Um, right. Blogging. Uh, yeah. Blogging would be another one. Mm -hmm. uh, social media. And then, of course, mobile and, you know, apps. And, and those are the those are the big five that I would put under uh, the category there of, uh, of new media. Great. Wonderful. So before, because you, we mentioned the events, for, for those who maybe haven't heard about this yet, I wanted to give a little bit of an overview of what the event, event is all about. And then mm -hmm. I really want to talk about your experience with the event and with what I'm teaching at the event. Sure. So uh, my event is High Profit Programs. It's happening in Phoenix, Arizona on March 15th through 17th. So it's a three day and it's very immersive workshop style event where you come in and I help you create a complete blueprint for your next or first online program. So you can come in with no ideas whatsoever or you can come in with too many ideas and we'll help you narrow it down. We'll help you figure out the one that actually people actually will want to buy, the one you can monitor monetize the easiest, the one that's going to be the uh, changing point for your entire business. And then we're going to help you come up with the title, come up with what needs to go into the program. We'll decide if you're trying to put too much into one program or not enough, what tools you need to do, what, how to price it, what kind of bonuses to give, how to fill it, how to get people into it, and how to create it in a way that actually delivers the results that you promised. So it's three days of working through every single aspect of your program. So when you walk away, you have a complete blueprint. And I have a number of people, a good number of people who launch their pilot programs within a week or two after they leave the event. And I even teach you at the event how you can start selling it before you create it. And Steve, I know you attended last year mm -hmm. and you've seen that it's actually happening. It's one thing me saying that <laughs> that's what we yeah. do. Do you have anything to share on that? Um, I, I will simply say that, you know, I, I really like, first and foremost, the um, the promise of the event because, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of events out there. And like I said, I, you know, I, I speak at a lot of events. And um, one of the reasons why I really like your event is because the, the promise is so clear and the focus is so clear. And, you know, there's a lot of events out there that are great and, you know, kind of rah-rah and inspirational and this, that, and the other. And you don't really leave with anything tangible. Like you go, you know, you come home with this book full of notes and it's like, like wow, just... that was so great. And then you go back to your regular life. <laughs> exactly. And, and so what, you know, look, there, there's obviously a lot of fun at your events and, you know, and people get to know each other and the networking is, is phenomenal. Um, but there's a very tangible uh, takeaway Mm -hmm. And and I think that's super super important today. I mean, it's I, that's that's why I, when we do our events now, we have one specific promise. Right. And so I just I I know after watching the evolution of live events now for so long um, that you're completely on the right path, and that if somebody goes there and they invest the time and the energy and the resources to be there, um, they're going to leave with something very very tangible that will provide a meaningful ROI for them, you know, not just in the immediate future, but really for the long term as well. So, right. you know, it's, um, I, I think it's, again, when I look at the events that are out there, um, I would put this at the top of the list because again, it's just such a tangible, powerful takeaway where you leave the event with actually something to show for your time that you can leverage over and over again. So I, I, yeah. I just, I, I think you're, you're, spot on with this one. Thank you. And that actually leads me to the question I wanted to ask you. What's your experience with online programs? I know you have multiple programs, but do you remember your experience of creating your first one? And what have that done for your business over the years? Yeah, you know, I mean, online programs are certainly a way for, well, let me, let me back up. My very first online program was simply a recording uh, of me teaching something live. Mm -hmm. And when I when I learned that I could just do that, it was just it was a really easy solution. Like I thought you had to do, 
you know, a million different things to create an online course that can really help people. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you can create, you know, all of these modules and you can get complex with it and you can do PowerPoint and you can do that. But if you're already teaching a system, mm -hmm. you could literally just do a, a live event, even just like a one day event and teach what you teach and then break that up into modules. And that's what I did with my first online mm -hmm. program. Um, and, and it really uh, was was quite easy, but I didn't know that I could do that until someone told me that that was an option, right? Yeah. And so I know you take people through all of the different types of programs yep. that they can create. And of course- Yeah, we definitely talk about different formats and different ways that they can go about creating it. Yeah, apps. yeah. And so, you know, look, uh, uh, that's one option and it's yeah. and it is an option that worked for me. And that was actually what we did um, for our first online program. Uh, and I mean, we, we've sold thousands of units of that over the years now, and I haven't changed it, honestly, in about three years. So we've been wow. using the <laughs> thing for about three years now. So once you create it, um, you know, certainly if you follow uh, Alina's process and the system that I know works so well for you and works so well for your clients, um, you don't have to recreate the wheel you know, for quite some time, you could actually ride that, uh, ride that single horse there for uh, for quite quite a bit. Yes, it's definitely one of those things. Once you create it once and it's well, uh, it's created well, and people are getting results. Yeah, you can then rinse and repeat, and it's so scalable because now you can have give it to ten people or to sell it to hundred people, sell it to thousands of people at no expense on your time or your efforts. You might have to provide customer support that maybe answer some questions, but the actual yeah. program is already there. You don't have to go through it and explain it to every person one at a time and again and again and again. Yeah. yeah. I mean I think that speaks to the just the ROI on creating a good online program. I mean it's it's infinitely scalable. And in other words, you can sell one thing to thousands of people, right? You don't have to customize it for every person. And, and on top of that, you know, having a, a program that uh, people can go through uh, is a, it's a nice complement to the, to the rest of the work that you, that you're probably doing in the world. You know, it's a good option for people who, for whatever reason, can't come and, and be with you in person or can't afford to hire you as a one-on-one -on -one coach or join one of your group coaching programs or something of that nature. Um, so, it's just, so it's just a nice option um, to be able to have. And I, I don't, you know, I know that there are some folks out there um, who believe you have to do everything in person. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you that I actually thought that for a long time too. Uh, but you, I mean, obviously the experience is different, but you can still deliver a lot of value. Uh, I love that you're bringing this up because I yeah. have a lot of people who say my work only can be done in person. Like I'm a branding person. I need to look at people. I need to look them in the eyes and that's how the magic yeah. happens. Or I'm a healer. So everything yeah. is hands on. And I have people like that coming to me all the time and we create like series of problems, uh, programs, because once they figure out how to do it once, it's so easy to recreate. It's the same formula. You just use it over and over. So yeah. the way I look at it, just kind of to give a little bit of a teachable moment here, is nobody can ever replace the experience of being with you in person. You can still sell your one-on-one -on -one time, your one-on-one -on -one sessions, your coaching, your counseling, whatever you do. And then there's still a lot of information you repeat every time you work with a new person. Mm -hmm. So you take the information, you take the knowledge and expertise that you would be sharing every single time you work with someone and you put that into a program. And then if people just want to know what, they can use that program and know exactly what the process you're taking them through. But they can yeah. see exactly the questions you would have been asking them. What they're not getting is your feedback on that, your um, thoughts on how it applies to them. So that's why you kind of said it fits really well with the other offers they do. So if you have an online program, that's this kind of level of access to you, but they still get the knowledge inside your head. And then you charge more. You don't have to justify higher fees for working with you one-on-one. -on -one. Because then you can say, here's just my knowledge and here's my knowledge and my eyes on you, your business, your relationship, your whatever it is that you're working on. So mm -hmm. it all fits really nicely into this. Yeah. I mean, so, you know, I'm just going to say it's kind of like a, um, uh, you know, kind of like a ladder, right? Yes. And you just want to give people opportunities to step into your world or step onto the ladder, if you will, 
at a, at a place that makes them comfortable. You know, not everybody's going to want to be at that top because they're, you know, nervous about being way up there and they're not going to want to spend, you know, $20,000 to be with you or something of that nature. And, you know, you can have a, a freebie kind of thing where nobody has to pay anything for it. And then, you know, you get some things in between and an online course can be a nice in between option, mm -hmm. between something for free and something where it costs them, uh, you know, they have to invest quite a bit of money to work with you. Yeah, and people can choose their level of investment and their level of access to you. So it makes it, it just like for me, having an online program is such a foundational piece of every business that when yeah. people come to me and they say, oh, I can't grow past a certain figure. Oh, I can't scale or like, I don't, I'm not selling enough. I want more clients. My first question is always, do you have a program? Yeah. Because that's the fastest way yeah. to get there. Yeah. And it's also really important, I think, for uh, you guys to to understand what the what the options are right in this world as well. I mean, there there are hybrid models where you can mix yourself into that yes. to provide some personal attention. I know Alina, you cover a lot of those oh, yes. options as well, and so it's not a one size fits all. I mean, there are lots of different ways <laughs> to do online programs, and you may and you may find a you know a, a style, a signature style, if you will, or whatever you know as far as an online program is concerned that works better for you. Um, but the bottom line is that there's a lot of options and I know that's uh, what you cover at your event or all those yes. options and then, you know, being able to, to get people started down that path. Absolutely. And I just wanted to mention we have Susan watching, we have Karen watching, we have Corey watching and they're saying hi. So hi. And if you have some questions, if you post them and we see it while we're still live, well, we would love to answer them. But I wanted to kind of come back from um, why I have actually invited you to this event because I Bill, that what we're doing at this event is basically learning how to create a program. And if you already have programs, you learn, you basically can create your next one. So you can spend three days very focused in a really amazing atmosphere to create your next one or your first one. And yeah. then I invited Steve because this whole idea of now that you have a program, what do you do with it? So <laughs> you want to take it from there? Yeah, I mean, it, it really <laughs> just boils down to, you know, look, obviously you can have the best program in the world but if no one knows about it and you're kind of there out you know is that that world's best kept secret then it doesn't really do you any good so there's two parts of the puzzle here I mean the you know and it's like a chicken and an egg do I do I make a name for myself first and then I create a program or do I create a program and then drive traffic and you know reality is that most people uh, aren't going to already have a, a huge following right I mean most people that I teach, I know a lot of people that you teach, Alina, and a lot of people that, um, you know, that I know have a little bit of a following, but they're not like Joe Rogan, right? I mean, who's right. got a, you know, a national platform and this, that, and the other, right? So most of us are average people yeah. who are trying to figure out how to get eyeballs and eardrums on what it is that we're doing mm -hmm. so that we can really help those that we're most compelled to serve. And that's a lot of what I'm going to be covering is the visibility piece, is after you get this program in place, again, whether it's your first or your next online high profit program, mm -hmm. then the, the question is, how do you get more people seeing to it? see it? Yeah. And that's, that's a lot of what I'm going to be covering are the ways to generate uh, what I would call massive, no cost vis visibility, you know, because uh, this to me, again, we go back to the new media discussion. This to me is where your efforts should be focused because you can generate massive visibility at no cost. So anytime you sell an online program based on the visibility that you generate through this world of new media, I mean, it's basically pure profit, right? Because you invested your money to create the program. So it's there. Now you just have to get people to invest uh -uh. in it. I teach them how they don't have to invest anything to create their program. I mean, of there course you, you can. But... Right. There you go. <laughs> like, so even better. I'm on the same page as you. I have. I, I work with a lot of people. That, well, and that's why it works so well. Is I have worked with a lot of people who say I don't have a budget. I can't run Facebook ads. I can't invest in this three thousand dollars a month yeah. platforms or anything like that. So how yeah. do I? Can I start with like very little budget, like under fifty bucks or under yeah. thirty bucks? It's like yes, you can. And then, uh, and then they go, and then I have to spend money on Facebook ads to promote my program. I'm like, no. That's why we have Steve. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. And that's what I have found is that um, there were a lot of uh, just uh, amazing people out there who have these incredible messages to share and really can help people by, you know, leveraging the, the expertise and knowledge that they've attained over 
um, for many people, we have decades and they just need to get in front of those people so that they can, you know, help them. Right. And then that's a lot of what we're going to be talking about is how to get that visibility that you need that that doesn't cost you anything at all. So if you don't have a budget, then this is perfect for you. If you got a little bit of budget, then great. You know, you can I'm a Lino teacher where to put that. But <laughs> everything that I'll be covering are going to be the sort of the tips and tools and strategies and shortcuts uh, around how to generate massive visibility at no cost. Great. Wonderful. So I'm so excited. Yeah. And you all should be at the event so you can hear it. So you can basically create your program and then learn amazing stuff. I believe some people actually said last time when you spoke at my event that that was one of the highlights of the event. Good. I was like, oh, you know, I mean, I'm, I know you're probably not okay with that as the, oh, as no, the creator totally of the That's why you're coming back. <laughs> Right. I think you've added so much value and it was perfect for where people are. It was perfect for what the next step is. It was perfect to take it further. It's like now that I'm, I stopped worrying about how do I actually create the program and what I put in it and what kind of program I can create. All of that stuff is taken care of. And the next thought is like, okay, how do I give it to the world? How do I yeah. share it with people? Well, so, hopefully uh, we can yes. together alleviate, you know, some of those yes. concerns too, right? Because, Absolutely. Uh, again, that's going to be the next question is, okay, great, I have it. Now, what do I do with it? And, and that's what I'll be covering. Perfect. And so one last question for you is if somebody is on the fence, like, oh, I have to travel. Oh, it's in Arizona. Oh, like, I don't know if I can get out. I'm so busy. I have so much stuff going on. What would you tell them about actually just going to a life event in general and this one in particular? Yeah, you know, look, there's there's two ways to to use your time. You can you can spend your time or you can invest your time. And what what I have found is that every time that I have thought, uh, I, I don't want to go to that, you know, like I'm too busy with my busy work or whatever it is that I'm doing. I mean, it's just like, yes, it takes time and, and yes, it takes energy. But every time that I've thought to myself, I I don't know if I want to do that. And then I do it. I'm always really, really grateful that I made the decision to be there. Because number one, and especially in the case of, of an event like Alina's, where there is a specific promise to the program, you know, to the event, you, you will walk out with something tangible. And that tangible product, that tangible program that you will create, that's going to help your business for, for years and years and years to come. So, I mean, that in of itself, three days now, years and years and years of benefit, you know, down the road, that's a, that's kind of a no brainer as far as why you would say yes. But, you know, there's a lot of things that you won't even, you know, even at this point, you can't even fathom yeah. what's possible for you just simply by being in that room, that the people that you're going to meet, the one thing that someone's going to say to you that could literally change your entire business, the opportunity to spend three days with someone like Helena, who, I mean, you know, Alina's the real deal. If you don't know Alina, you know, I mean, she runs with all of the, the big players. I mean, you know, and, and I'm, in, I'm, I've been watching you over the last couple of years and, you know, people are like, oh, it's just, you know, Alina's doing this little cute thing on Facebook, or, you know, whatever. Like, I don't know. That's kind of where I first saw you, right? Doing some of that <laughs> stuff. And then you created this whole business and you're like, you're making this, like, people know you and want to work with you. And so, you know, I, I mean, just being able it to. It all started with online programs. <laughs> right. And creating so just, good programs. And just seeing how Alina grew her business and learning firsthand how she got to where she is from where she was, I mean, literally starting with nothing and building up this uh, really um, solid business that is having massive impact. Uh, yeah, sometimes I, mean, I feel bad saying like I haven't been doing it for the last 25 years. My right. first business has only been like around four years or so. Yeah, you've so built your business never quickly. never too late to start. Yeah. Yeah, quickly. And you've built up your influence super quick. And, and I know you're really generous with your advice and you're really generous with your teachings. And I know you're of the mindset that, you know, if, if I can help someone accomplish X, Y, or Z, and I have the knowledge to help them, I'm going to share that knowledge. And so, you know, the bottom line is if you're just, if you're thinking about it and maybe on the fence about, you know, should I come to Alina's event? Um, I would simply say this, which is 
Uh, having now seen Alina in action, been to her events, and having worked with her over the past, uh, I mean, I think we've been working together now pretty consistently for the past couple of years. Yes. Um, there, there are a lot of people out there who I would say, you know, maybe they're not the real deal. You know, maybe they're not the same on camera as they are off camera. I mean, what you see is what you get with with Alina, and and and, and that's that's a gift. You know, I mean, it really is. Um, from, from my perspective, having worked now with literally hundreds of people in the space over the last, uh, you know, whatever it is now, a dozen years or so that I've been in this online type of space, at least in this internet marketing world, if you will, um, there's a lot of people that I wouldn't, uh, you know, that I wouldn't recommend you, you go check out. Alina is definitely on the list of people, uh, that very short list of people uh, who I willingly and consistently recommend that people check out. And so if wow. you're not familiar with Alina, um, come to this event. And, and you know, I, I promise you, just having been to the event, uh, you will leave that, you know, you'll leave Phoenix a much different person in a positive way than, uh, than, than when you first got there. And so, uh, yes, it's an investment of time. Yes, it's an investment of energy. Yes, it's an investment of resources. Um, but at the end of the day, I think you will see a, a massive return on that investment. As a matter of fact, I know you will see uh, a massive return on that investment and you'll get to meet me. And how cool is that? Right. I mean, that's gotta be worth it. <laughs> that's the itself. best part of the event. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, that just, Oh, yeah. Just made my day. Thank yeah. you so much. I mean, I it. That. Oh, yeah. I know. That's why it means so much. Thank you. Yeah. So appreciate you being here. Appreciate you talking uh, to my people about this. I can't wait to share you with the new people and I can't wait to bring it. I have some people who've been coming to this event now, second, third time. And they're like, is Steve going to be there? Because that was, um, they want to do more of that stuff with yeah. you. They want to hear more. And I know you, you have a lot of new stuff to share even from last year as well. For so sure. Thank you so much for being my amazing speaker. I'm so glad you took my up. Uh, took me up on my invitation just to speak at my event again and oh, yeah. i can't wait to see you and everybody else there so yeah. the link to the event to get the ticket is still not too late to grab the ticket it's going to be posted somewhere around this video and i hope to see you there thanks me too bye, bye.